So sometimes it's nice to really see your results. And so there's some techniques that you can use, some tools that you can use that are very easy to find or make. And you can use them to kind of gauge, are you doing it correctly? And are you getting enough volume behind it? So with personal breathing, if you're getting enough volume when you breathe in, then when you blow out, you're gonna have enough force to blow a tissue across the table or to have it be moving and you'll be able to spin a pinwheel. Now you may not be able to move it really far at first, but that's okay. The key is that you're getting the technique down. So sometimes these visuals are nice and helpful. So for the tissue, you could put it on the table, take a deep breath in and blow out. And hopefully not blow it over the table, but basically you can get it to move. And how far you get it to move is related to how much volume you're getting in. Same thing with you holding it up is if you take a deep breath in, you'll be able to move it. And that's usually fairly easy to move. So I like starting with something like this. Um, pinwheels can be tricky if you don't get one that spins really easy, but pinwheel is also another one that you can use to help you decide, am I breathing correctly? So with the pinwheel, you're going to breathe into the pinwheel as you blow out. You may need to be close to the pinwheel when you first start, but as you get more volume, you'll find you'll be able to move the pinwheel out further. And also it will spin further for, uh, for longer period of time. So just to start, we're going to use the pinwheel and deep breath in. And in, try to do that right, in. And the pinwheel has to be oriented, obviously, that you're getting the air captured into it. But you can do it this way for some people, they can blow it this way. I find it's easier for me when it's on its side. Um, but find that position that you can spin it easy and then try to use your air behind it. As you get better at this, and this gets more comfortable for you and you can do it in standing, then take the pinwheel with you, find a flat place around you that doesn't have any um, things that you could trip on and take the pinwheel and blow it while you're moving. That way you know that you're breathing while you're moving. Most people like to hold their breath if they're having difficulty with something. So we, won't, we don't want you to do that, you want you to get your oxygen, you need it even more when you're moving. So take the pinwheel with you, even if it doesn't spin, you're going through the movement of trying to do the activity of breathing in and out. So you're still getting the benefit of it, even if it's not spinning. <laughs> 